loving your insecurities is really important it's because they are part of you, you cannot change them. You either love them and live a happy life with yourself or you just like hate them and be depressed all the time and that's not fun. So love yourself. <laughs> My name is Paul Edwards. Um, I would say I'm a creative director. Keeping my integrity of my work is that I respect my art. The respect of my art comes first and then I come second. Like if a client hires me for a job, you have to in a way kind of love what I do and you know, so that you know what I do. I, I never want to be on set and then hear somebody telling me what to do. That means they don't trust my judgment. And that means they could have chose any other photographer, but they chose me. And uh, I find it disrespectful to my art. In high school, you have something called a gymnasarieta. You come up with a question that you have to answer with your work. And my question was, how can I be provocative? My idea was I wanted to shoot all my friends nude and put up the pictures in my school library. I took the pictures and they said no. And I answered my question that I could be provocative with, <laughs> with pictures and, you know, nudity kind of. So I took naked pictures of my friends and... <laughs> okay, so did you pass? Yes, I passed because like I completed, like I couldn't have my pictures in the library so I was provocative enough that I couldn't so that's why I passed. <laughs> then after that, um, this photographer called Soga Berlin saw my pictures and she called me to she called me to be her assistant. And at this point I was like, I really don't wanna do photography. I like and then I was like, okay, I can I can check this out. So I assisted her for like a month and then summer came around and she was like, here's my camera, you should go out and show. And I was like, okay, this is a sign that I should do it. So I took her camera and I shot every day. I took pictures of my friends every day until November that year. So every single day I produced content. Yeah, and I've been doing it ever since. In a way, I kind of have a relationship to it. If I know, like when I click the first click, I know this photo shoot is gonna go horribly wrong. And sometimes if I click on it, I know it's gonna be amazing. If I, anyway lose kind of like my facial expressions that I don't like this that means it's gonna affect my subject if my subject is like oh is this okay or they get they get stressed and then they cannot even give me something that's gonna be it look even better than you know what we have now you know a photo shoot is like a therapy session because you know people have insecurities and they put them in your hands for you to shoot them so it's easier if you present yourself in a friendly way then they can be able to like you know let you in in five years i'm, I'm gonna be 26 so <laughs> just saying <laughs> i want to be traveling and working i want to be meeting all different types of people and I want to, you know, dive more into fashion. I want to do like a long film. Like once in my life, I want to like to be able to direct a long film with like amazing actors and shit. I would say like in five years, I want to be more creative. I want to travel the world. I want to discover ways of, you know, new ways of taking pictures. And I want to, you know, get more into helping other young creatives that want to come up. You have to like kind of balance confidence and respect for what you do and how you do it. Don't dwell on what you don't have and have fun.
like live life to the fullest and with what you do if it's amazing or if it's not amazing but as long as you love it and you have fun and you respect yourself and you're confident about what you do then the world is yours to conquer um, yeah <laughs> that was great yeah a little preach <laughs> the world can deal with some preaching right now yeah